Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi, and welcome to this video. This is the card we're making today. It's this lovely little ladybird card. I know it doesn't look as bright as it does in real life on the camera, but this is the card we're making. It's a lovely, sweet little card. We made this actually in my car club recently, and I'm, I've started an in-person car club that I run from my home in North Lincoln every month. So if you're in Lincoln, in the Lincoln area or in the Lincolnshire area, do consider coming along. We have a lot of fun. So you can find all the details on my website. So do check that out. Okay, we're going to do some stamping. I've got all my stamps, most of them mounted. We're using here Hello Ladybug because it's an American stamp set. We say Ladybird in the UK. We're using the leaf and the ladybird and the hello and all sorts here. So I'm going to first stamp, I'm going to bring in my simple chamois actually so it's ready. And we're going to stamp first in old olive and we're going to stamp our leaf. So let's do that now. And stamp it somewhere here. I'm going to cut it out. There we've got our leaf. Isn't that lovely? Okay. So just clean that up. I'm going to put these back in my stamp set as I go. Get them out the way. Next thing we're going to do is close this up before anything can go in it. And then we're going to stamp our ladybird's body. I'm going to use Memento. Give this a really good ink up. And I know I'm going to cut that out, so I'm going to go from the base here. Okay. There we go, there's our ladybird. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Okay, and now we're going to stamp our ladybird's wings. So let's bring that in here. Thinking what's the easiest way for me to do this? Just down, get on with it. Lovely. Clean that up as well before anything can fall in it. Close this up. Now we're going to stamp our spots. Okay. I love ladybirds in the garden, they chew up all the aphids, all the green fly. Very nice of them. There we go, there are spotties. Okay, so let's move all of these bits aside for now. We are going to need our stamp set again. But for now, we're going to first punch out, I think, our ladybird. And I'm going to just cut these out with my scissors quickly. Just cut this piece out. And then cut this in half again. Now you can make a template and cut your pieces out so they, you can cut everything out in one, punch everything out in one go. I know that you can do that, but I have tried that and for whatever reasons it just doesn't work for me, so I go back to what works for me. But if that works for you, brilliant. So I've cut this a bit too short, so I need a handle. So I'm just using a poster, piece of post-it note to give me my handle, and now I can arrange it in my ladybird punch and try and get it. Oh, that definitely wasn't right. 
Sometimes I can faff about for ages. Okay, that will do. I can just peel that piece off and you can reuse that tape. And then I can want to reuse it straight away actually. Just to give me a bit of a handle here. I'm going to put this into my punch again for the leaf for the wings. Just take your time to line it up and sort of try and get an even amount of white around all your pieces, but don't worry too much about it. Running out of space on my desk, I'm sure you can all relate to that feeling. Okay, so now I'm going to just put a little bit of glue on the top here. I've got glue everywhere and then just line it up there's our ladybird lovely now we are going to pop the stops so I'm going to put dimensionals on the back in readiness okay now my leaf we're going to cut out using a trimmer so let's do that. And as usual, I'm just going to eyeball roughly how I want it to look. I think that will be okay, maybe a tiny bit off. But yeah, that looks fine. Okay, so let's get rid of all these pieces. And then we're going to mount this on a piece of scrap piece of real red cardstock. So it matches our whoops, matches our red that in the ladybird. So I'm just going to do it like that and then you can cut it out however you want. You could measure this. I'm going to use my scissors and live on the wild side and cut it out by hand. Bye. Actually not too bad that. Pretty impressed with that. Okay, so one last little piece of stamping. We're going to stamp hello in the base here using our memento ink. There we go. Hello. Lovely. So, let's get rid of the stamp set. Clear a little bit of space. And we're going to bring in the rest of our card. Card base is thick basic white. And then I've got a piece here, the delightfully eclectic designer's use paper. And we're going to mat this on a piece of real red. It's just the same as our focal images. And all the measurements will be on the blog post on my website. So I'm not going to say them all here, but you'll find them all there. And you can find that link in the description box below. This to our card base, the thick basic white card base, the standard A6 card base. That's an A4 sheet cut in half and then folded in half. I've got glue everywhere, so I'm going to try and turn this round in the hopes there's nothing on the other side. Okay, and let's stick this one down now. And just stick this on the front here and I love the stripy paper so much fun look at that then let's add in our ladybird and what shall we have her yeah like that looks good to me a little bit more stamping Gonna take the hello off here. Did I clean this? No, I didn't. 
bad actually. Let's give it a bit of a clean. There we go, it's clean. <laughs> I'm going to use these tiny little dotties. And we're just going to use some old olive ink. And we're just going to add a few dotties around. Just like that, just something, something. Um, when you start to think, where else should I put a dot? It's usually time to finish and don't put any more out. Sometimes you can just go too far very, very easily. Um, so next I'm going to bring in my white pen. This is just a white gel pen. I'm just going to use it to, hold, to add some sketch lines on my... butterfly so it just matches these sketch lines that we have here on the leaf okay and then I have here some of the loose silver sequins and I just have this triangle triangle online you can get from any beading shop or online I'm just going to put a few into my tray here and then I'm going take some Tombow and see if I can get any of this Tombow to work. It's really near the end. Okay. I feel I've got too much in this one spot so I'm just going to use a paper towel to I'm just going to wind the paper towel into a tiny little point here and I'm going to use it just to siphon up some of that spare glue like that. Use my sticky pickup tool and pick up a sequin and then I can just put it down like that um, another one you'll see the glue underneath it initially but Tombow will dry clear and you won't see it anymore you'll see that in the still shots on, the, on my blog post so then just use your tray feed it back in really simple okay and we're finished there are our two cards so i hope you like them if you did i'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so youtube now and please don't forget to subscribe to future videos if you want more information about the project measurements supply lists etc it's all on the blog post on my website and the links to that and all my social media links are in the description box below so thank you again and until next time enjoy being creative bye